What do you think of the game so far, the graphics? Um, Hogwarts? Uh, I really like it. Um, it's fun. I'm, I'm, I th I'm hoping that, uh, the, what I've been playing so far is just, like, the beginning part, and they're getting me used to, <clears throat> to, you know, the world of Hogwarts and the gameplay, because there, I mean, there hasn't been that much of a story so far, and I think they're just getting me used to, uh, you know, learning spells and, um, preparing me. And then I'm curious to see, you know, who the villain is and and fighting actual bad guys because so far I've just fought, um, you know, it's, it feels like one big tutorial so far, which is fine because um, I'm getting used to it. But I'm very curious to see what the story is. But the graphics look great and I love that you can create your own character. Um... I wish I looked like that in real life. <laughs> um, and yeah, I like that it's just expanding the, um, uh, you know, that Harry Potter world. All right, let's see. Continue. All right, so this is Hogwarts Legacy Part 3. What are we doing? For sure it seems like a fun game from what I've seen so far. So you haven't played it? Um, oh, you said you've not played Hogwarts, but you enjoy the gameplay, yeah. Um, yeah, it is fun. Uh, I am in, I chose Ravenclaw. Um, I, based on the questions that they asked me, um, it suggested Ravenclaw, and then I could have chosen, like, I would have chosen, like, either Ravenclaw or Gryffindor, but I like Ravenclaw. I like something that's different from what we've seen in the films. Alright, let's see, so my objectives... What house would you have chosen if, if you, uh, if you could choose? Let's see, I can go. Professor Weasley has arranged for me. Alright, I'm supposed to go to Hogsmeade. Guess I'll do that. And then... I like how this shows me the way. Uh, well, I did the official wizard, uh... Wizard it world quiz and got slith oh Slytherin interesting um so I would choose Slytherin that's cool autocorrect is nobody's friend <laughs> I agree with that um. see. Why is it telling me to go that way? I'll just follow directions. I feel like the volume is really low. of armor humming. Well, fancy oh. meeting you here. It's my boyfriend. Talk. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. <laughs> I'm told you're in dire need of supplies and I'm I hope to accompany you. It sounds like a villain. Forward. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall well. endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. 
self-contained too. It sounds like it's up to something. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Slytherin. <laughs> oh wow, I get to see the rest of the grounds. I want to live at Hogwarts. I wish Hogwarts was real. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. Were you? As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. He's just keeping his enemies it, close. I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Mm-hmm, exactly. Speaking of Weasley, she friend. seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything. Well, there's the Quidditch. Yeah. Given my detention record. Oh, so I Spend know he's a, a bad time boy. Spend a detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Mm-hmm. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Sweetie, my parents comes on the hunt for me, as is often the case. So I know you haven't finished That's the originals. Professor came to retrieve me. Hold on. Uh, so I know you haven't finished the originals yet, and you don't have to answer it right now. Are you liking Klaus more now <laughs> than when you first met him? Um, yes, more than when I first met him, but that's not saying much. <laughs> Um, he's, I don't, he will never be my favorite character. Like, he's done too much, said too much, killed too many people that I care about. Um, I mean, I don't know. I just, if they had started him out differently, like, in a more sympathetic way, and then he grew to be an asshole, that'd be different, but I don't know. They just started him off like way too way too much like a villain that I had so much um and not even like not like not even like a daemon villain where there was maybe a hint like like there wasn't even like humor like daemon at least had humor on his side even if I didn't like him at first um klaus so how did you was just to get a villain the bad side well I suspect it's a matter of different And then they expected me to care about him. <laughs> she thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Do they? Also, with Damon, he like... Even if I didn't like him... For a long time, he, for the most part, you know, owned that he was doing bad things. Klaus, what I can't stand about Klaus is, like, he would do bad things and then whine about it and be like, you know, why don't you love me? <laughs> because you just murdered somebody that I care about, that's why. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Proud soup and sugar. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out going a long way. Students. This is a oh. long way. Like hence the name. Precisely. If I was running in they real life like this, dangerous. I'd be tired. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Beautiful. Look at this. Ah, Look at this. You can this see Hogsby beautiful. just past those ruins up ahead. Look at that. Um, reminds me of the conversation between Damon and Klaus when he was asking how Elena could love him. Um, I don't remember that conversation. Damon said Klaus does bad things to be a dick. He does bad things for a purpose. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I had a problem with even that statement back then, but it, it, it's... To explore the castle. I mean, Damon at least had. I guess he had a reason. I don't know. Um, yeah, Klaus was just constantly. He's just like a big baby. with the class. Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now. Thousand-year-old baby. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. 
Um, I'm not good. I'm just better than you. Because <laughs> you're not real. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. He changed after Hope was born. Unfortunately. Yeah. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. I mean, he's not killing as many people. I mean, except for when he had to, um, when he was separated from Hope in between last season and this season. And apparently he was murdering a whole bunch of people, but, um, other than that, I guess he's, <laughs> other than that, um, he's done well as far as not killing innocent people Mr. Moon. left and right. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you Mr. met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Is he drunk? Uh, turn and run. Oh, he is. <gasps> is everything what, right, on butterbeer? Oh, look I'm right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and hairy <laughs> and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Thank Lumos, you. a Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Oh, so we're, go we're running to Hogsmeade. I thought we were going to take, like, a carriage or something. That's why it's so My far. sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin, too? She is. Or, rather, she was. Was. She's not well at the moment, but oh. she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, they're giving him a backstory. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Honestly, I'm gonna pet like every cat. The magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to yeah, it, it does like look awesome. to a flame. I'm simply saying I thought the display of It's like being at Universal Studios. <laughs> do I miss uh, California? So how would you like to do this? Not really. Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a um, wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Hi, Thrusty. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty well, of time. Well, we just started playing at Hogwarts, so don't I worry. just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. I'm starting to like the best. fun. It's Hogsmeade. Um, so do I miss California? Uh, no, I don't miss... Not really, I mean... Um... I really, I really like where I moved to in Portland, and it's close to a lot of shops and restaurants, and... It's like, almost... Almost overwhelmingly, um, blue and liberal over here, which I, I'm not used to, which I really like, because... There's like pride flags all over the place, and you know, and I lived in California, and there I didn't really even see that much um, outwardly support as far you know for the community, um, and so I really like that, and I mean I'm close, to, I'm really close to everything. I'm close to a movie theater, I'm close to bookstores. Um, um, so far, my neighbors have been nice, and well, that's the other thing. Everyone's been really nice. Excuse me, and I, um, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, sure how my mom and I were going to be received over here, but, you know, uh, people have been really nice, you know, just walking down the street, whereas in LA, um, you know, most people won't even say hi, 
<laughs> so it's just it's different here and I, I'm really enjoying that aspect uh, are you going to see the Barbie movie I don't know I don't I, I've seen the trailer um, I mean it looks okay and I know the big sell is that it's directed by um, what's her face um, what is her name you know, Lady Bird director. Um, but uh, Greta Greta Gerwig, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks okay. It's not going to be the first thing on my list. I, I was we were talking before that I'm definitely going to see the Mission Impossible movie. <laughs> but Barbie, um, will will I might have to wait until it comes on demand. Um, maybe I'll even wait and watch it with you guys. Um, I'll do a reaction to it, because I'm not planning to see it in theaters just yet. Uh, that's so good, I'm glad it's a better community. Yeah, definitely a better community here. Um, cost of living also, yeah, definitely cheap, a little bit cheaper here. Uh, here California can be superficial. It, it can be. Um, I mean... Yeah, definitely when I was working in West Hollywood, there was definitely a lot of um, superficial people there. Um, where are you all from? Everyone who's here, where are you guys from? Did you say, MJ, where are you from? I'm trying to remember. You're on the East Coast. And the rest of you are from New York. Yeah, um... I've only been to New York once when I was little. I'd like to go again to visit. Let's see. Okay, so I can go to visit Tomes and Scrolls, visit Ollivanders, visit J. Pippin's Potions, visit the Magic Neat. Okay, good, so I have some options here. Uh, New York can be a wild place, but the food is great. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so, oh, Tomes and Scrolls is right here. Let's go here. An inquiring mind. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. That's I cool. am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but My character is so stylish. <sighs> yeah, I, I love those cornrows on him. Purest, creating something coat, out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. Is New York I look wild, forward to or is day. everywhere else too cold? And I too see <sighs> That is the question. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? <clears throat> oh, wait. I can't even see. Let me move myself. How do I do that? Uh... See, I did it before this way.
<clears throat> New York needs to calm down its <laughs> rental prices. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to be calming down anytime soon. Only going to go up. Same with San Francisco. Well, everywhere, really, but... Um... Actually, I think it's, it's, yeah, it is major cities like that, but, like, the the prices have gone down, I think, here in Portland, so I guess it, it really depends on where you're looking. Um, okay, so what am I getting? I'm getting, what, oh, I just have to buy this? Wait, purchase. If you're interested... Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Oh, uh, these are too expensive. I don't have enough money. I was looking at Portland as a place to live. Seems pretty chill and not too pricey. Yeah. Um. That's what I'm. I'm getting. It's. 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 You know, it's still a city, so it's going to be more expensive than like living. Um in you know like idaho or something or, or in a small town but um for a city it's it's definitely very accessible and and um more affordable i've been boiling oh in new york um what what uh what's the temperature over there right now Also, not too hot during the summer, yeah. In Portland, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it, I think it got up to the 90s here, but, um, I have a, a portable air conditioner, so that definitely helps. Um, I know a lot of people don't, and a lot of the, the drawback, <clears throat> the drawback to a lot of the apartments, um, in Portland is that, they don't come with air conditioning. I think the newer ones do, but like if you get like an older building, they don't come with air conditioning because for a long time the summers were not very hot. But you know, because of global warming now, I guess um, the summers are are getting warmer. Uh, as long as there's an IKEA not too far, <laughs> I'm happy. IKEA is a requirement for me. Yeah, I just went to IKEA recently. Um, and yeah, it's pretty close. Um, what I like about Portland is is it's a city, but it it's small. Like it feels like a small city, and and you don't have to drive very far to get to places. Like when I lived in LA, I hate driving, and and that city is so big that you ha you have to go on so many freeways, and everything was just really far. Even even in the Bay Area. Um, Everything was just really far, and here everything seems close together, but it still feels like metropolitan. Yeah, hearing that about LA driving is um, a pain. Excuse me. Yeah, it was. It's 83 today. W let's see, what is it here? It's 80 right now where I live, um, but it's gonna get up to 90. I've been I've been looking forward to the Portland rain and I haven't had any yet so but I should I guess I should be careful what I wish for because I know it's going to be a lot like during the winter. But I don't mind. I like the rain. I love the rain. And I love I love overcast days too. Um if hell is even half this hot I might have to Get right with God. Yeah, does it get humid there? Um, here, outside no, but inside, um, inside, for some reason, it's it's really humid um, when we don't have the air conditioning on. But outside, it's it's pretty dry.
Okay, so I think I'm done with this door. Uh, the rain is awesome. Are you planning on going to any of the national parks close by? Um, I mean, I guess at some point, I, since now that I live here, you know, I have nothing but time to explore my surroundings. I definitely want to go to, um, I think they have some waterfalls here and I want to see the ocean. Um, and there's supposed to be some, a lot of good hiking and trails and stuff. So yeah, I definitely want to do all that stuff. I'm not sure what national parks they have here. I think I know they have a lot, but I don't, I'm not sure of the names. But I'll get to them. Uh, Pacific Northwest. I've heard stunning scenery. Yeah, definitely. That's it's very green here, and I love that. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, Olive Anders is right here, right? Yeah. Why is it so murky in here? I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course well, you famous, are. Huh? Gerbold Ollivanders, the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Let's see if he gets it on the first try. Hmm. Unlike Harry you Potter. Here, give this one a try. Pretty. Well, go ahead, swish. Oh, guess hmm. not. It's gonna be oh, just like on. Harry Potter. <laughs> once more, come on, really swish it. Okay, not for me. Oh dear. Like, fuck you, don't touch me. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> I like how he has um, a big wand stuck we'll behind find his ear. Something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, I wish I had a wand to use to clean my house instant. Uh, exactly. Yes. Then we wouldn't have to do our own cleaning. Like Thirteen and three quarter inches dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Dragon heart string. Now it's going to be third times a try, right? Nope. Oh, oh goodness. Or third one's a Looks charm. Like <laughs> Not third one's a charm. For you. Third one's a charm. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Have you watched the Fosters? No, I haven't seen the Fosters. Um, um where I know are a, you? another reactor I'm watching watches you? them, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, ah, there you I'm very are. skeptical about ABC Family shows, even though I'm watching Pretty Little Liars, and, and that's good. But yes. Is it a good show? I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. I recommend that show. I think you'd like it. Um, the girl, April, from um, from Gilmore Girls is in it, right? Is that the Fosters? Or is that, no, that's Switched at Birth, right? Is it? I don't know. I don't know who's in the Fosters. <laughs> um, okay, what am I doing? Oh, this is my one. So it's, it's honey brown, acacia. Switch that birth is good too. Um, okay, so dragon heart string would be one length, twelve and a quarter inches. Okay, what am I doing? How do I finalize the one? Oh, so I can change the color. Curious indeed. Oh. I can just make my own wand. Foster's a chef kiss. You can customize it. Oh. Oh. How intriguing. Why was he... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I might have to choose that one. What is that? What is this? Curious indeed. No, I like that, that 
white look, that gray look. But let me see what these other ones are first. Yeah, that did look cool, right? This one looks cool, too. Intriguing. Maybe I just liked it because it was white. No, because this one looks... This one looks so plain. I, I like the shape of that one, too. Curious indeed. Ash. Ooh. That just looks like... A thorn. Or like a vine. It looks like an avocado. How intriguing. Um, well, not an avocado. A, uh... What do you call it? Curious indeed. Like hearts of palm or something. Um, artichoke. That's what I meant. An artichoke. I think I like this one. I'm gonna do that. Uh, what's this? Wood type. I can change the wood. Oh wait, length. Twelve and a quarter inch. I can change. The dual tone, yeah. Um, How I mean, intriguing. Alder. Oh, it changes the wood. Wait. It doesn't do anything. Is it Curious it's not changing, indeed. is it? Who, like, who cares about the wood? Like, <laughs> it's not changing. Does it do anything if you change the wood? How intriguing. I'm just, okay. I don't know what that did. Curious oh my gosh. Indeed. Okay. It doesn't do anything? What was the point of this? How intriguing. This doesn't even change like the length. I mean it doesn't make it make it look any different. How about I'll just do 13 inches and then it'll be unlucky for anyone who crosses my path curious indeed brittle hard solid stiff rigid <laughs> Un unbending it's just for the potter really they they could have gone the extra mile that's gonna be my first criticism <laughs> they could have gone the extra mile and actually made these um these traits like actually do something how intriguing slightly yielding unyield oh unyielding i like that unyielding um what are these tarot cards dragon heart string that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic a dragon heart string wand is I most choose? powerful and oh. learns quickly. Phoenix feather. The feather of Phoenix that serves as the core of a wand. People of producing a great range of magic. Unicorn hair. Producing consistent magic. And this is powerful magic. I mean... I like Phoenixes. Ah, I'll go with Phoenix. Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare. Yeah, I should have dictated how the wand a strong works. sense of initiative. Yeah, this is just like a gimmick. What was this? It looks cool though. Yeah, just the aesthetics. That's it, right? Okay, I, I guess I'm done. Purchase. What do you think? Looks cool. Look at his face! <laughs> He's like, yes! <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future! <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Amazing. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. 
and the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. You didn't even help me. Like, I chose everything myself. <laughs> But thank you, anyway. Thanks. Yeah, this is for not helping me, sir. <laughs> um, maybe I should move my picture again. Alright, visit J. Pippin's Potions. Where's that? Hold on. Maybe you have to click on it. There we go. Oh. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she dates to come Lawang. here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? All right, so these are things that I have to get, right? Free of charge. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. You're too expensive. Thank you. Visit the magic neep. Alright, let's see. Where's the magic neep? Oh, right there. So I can go to other places first, right? No, wait. Spent witches, sporting needs. I don't know how much Quidditch I'm going to be playing. Three broomsticks. Wizard gear. Clothing shop for both the elegant and eccentric wizard. It has two additional locations. Maybe we'll go there. I just want to see if I can change outfits. Probably don't have enough money. Can you see Hogwarts from here? Can you believe some people struggle with simple levitation? Let's 
Swing me that way. Swing me I wish you could actually shoot NPCs. Yeah, you can do that in like um Skyrim. Sometimes you can you can like kill NPCs. I've done that a couple times just because I know it's not real. Wait, can I not talk to this guy? Hello? <laughs> um, sir. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I can only go to the places that it tells me to go. Oh, I'm okay, drinking from an empty glass. Empty teacup. Who's this guy? Nobody. Revelio. Revelio. I got $61 from that, so I can just steal from this guy's shop? Okay. I guess I can't do anything. Oh, wait, maybe if I... There's a dressing room. Maybe if I go over here. Oh, wait. Talk to her. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I guess I can't do anything here. Alright, oh, another cat. <clears throat> Gotta pet it. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go to this the magic neat. Once you get a certain spell, you can open the eyeball chest. Oh, thank you. Uh. These big ass pumpkins! Look at that! Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. What's a neat? Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dittany seeds? I would spend hours just walking around in the game. Let it's me so guess. Beautiful. Yeah, You're after definitely. something fresh. They did a really good job. Uh, unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Right. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. At least oh, I can afford, everything. but I don't think I'm going to spend Better go and find Sebastian. I don't even know what they do. I'll have to come back later. Fluxweed. Alright. Oh, Rebellion. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, uh, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. That's nice. What's this? Oh. Thank you. Six dollars. Uh, 
Uh, meet Sebastian at the town circle. All right. Oh, I can get that book. Yes. I wish you could talk to more people. There's all these random people just standing around that I can't even talk to. Let's see, are there any side quests over here before I go back to Sebastian? Oh, well, maybe I can go to like three broomsticks or something. Just to see what's there. Oh, wait, it's taking me to Town Circle. by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey I've always wanted to try a butterbeer but I always thought it was gonna be too sweet Oh, so that's what he did. He's just eating and drinking. It's like, random stuff that's left by other people. Oh, uh, you should try- you should cast Revelio all the time to reveal field guide pages, yeah. Revelio. Oh, wait. Was there another one? Something else? Where's that bell? What is it, what is it revealing? It makes. There's a chest up there which I probably can't open. Or maybe I can, let's see. Rebellion. What's this? Oh, okay, there's stuff up here. Got some spectacles. Wooden spectacles. $46. Amazing. Is there anything else? What's that? What are those? Oh, it's a. Oh, wait, that's not here. Oh, I can't get in there yet. That all means a field guide page is near. Oh, so there is another one. I didn't see anything. Let's see. I just jump. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing it. Rebellion. Okay.
I feel like it's coming. It sounds like it's over here. Oh, in the locked room. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I still can't open locks yet. Revelio. Well, I'll just come back. Okay. It's <laughs> enough of that. It's not here. Or outside. Let's see. Sometimes you can hear it through the wall. Rebellion. Wait, it sounds like it's getting further away. It's gonna bother me. Where are you? Okay, I give up. I'm, I'm not gonna keep looking. I can always come back. It's flying? Where? Revelio. I saw a book flying before, but... That? Oh. Was that Revelio. it? Those are the pages. Rebellion. Oh, that. that Rebellion. Maybe that was it. The bell. Wait. Maybe there's more. I don't know where this other one is. Oh wait, there's no. Yeah. We're... I don't know, I could do this like all day. Oh, there's Sebastian. Maybe I'll just go talk to him. Rebellion. Oh, wait, there's another one. They're all over the place. Okay, so I could be here a long time. There's eight. Oh yeah, there's th or yeah, that's right, it says there's eight here, so I guess I should be looking. For all of them. Rebellion. Oh, that other one's far away. I kind of want to do that now. I kind of want to look for all of the flying. If they're all flying, I wonder if any of them are in locked buildings, though. This one sounds like it's to the right. Oh, okay, here's one. Honey Dukes. Sweet shop sells a variety of magical sweets from fizzing whiz whizbees. You still haven't found all of them? Yeah, I'm sure there's so many. Um, from fizzing whizbees to exploding bonbons, customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling the shop's wares. How many are left? Three. I think we can do that. We can do three. Let's see. Oh, there's one. One flying. Oh, look how far you can get it. That's cool. I love Rebellion. getting the flying ones. Is this another one? There's another one over here. Oh, wait, it's in too far. Okay. There we go. One more. Rebellion. It's far away. Somewhere to the left. Somewhere in here, by the sound of it. Well, I don't think I can go in there yet. I don't see any more flying. 
I think it's in there. I'll have to wait. At least I got most of them. Yeah, it's in there. Oh wait, there's a chest. Oh, I can't open that one, right? That's the eye? Yeah. Uh, how do I get back out? Rebellion. Accio. Alright, Sebastian. Because it keeps telling me about flu flame locations. Oh, that's right. I already I already tried um, fast traveling, so I I guess you can do it once you once you find the place. Oh, kid, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're like too old to be on that tiny little broomstick. <laughs> Looks crazy. Look at him. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and, like, bouncing into Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our I oyster did. now. Let's see what else we can get up to. He always sounds so menacing. Like, slightly sexual. Alright, we're getting to the story. Gotta fight this thing? It's a troll? Oh, everyone's fighting. Everyone has magic. Shit, I forgot how to fight now. Oh. Good. Away from the building! Away from the village! Are we gonna help? Another one? Oh shit. Who sent these? Ah! Alright. Can I one guardian Leviosa you? Oh no! Oh shit, Protego doesn't even work. Ah! Heal. Leviosa isn't working, Sebastian. Ah! You got your ass beat during this? He's big. I wonder if you can like take his thing away from him. Oh shit, that didn't work. What was that? I tasted some medicine. You can throw things? Wait. Oh shit! He's faltering! Oh cool. I just noticed that. Okay. Nice. Jeez. Oh! Invoke ancient magic. Cool. Oh, he exploded him. Yay! <laughs> I didn't even realize that you could press R1. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yes, I we did. So. Sebastian didn't help. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. <laughs> Merlin's beard. 
Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, okay. officer. With Singer. Reparo? <laughs> officer Singer. A reward, okay. maybe? <laughs> Again. Our reward is to help clean up the mess. <laughs> Wait, she just disappeared. Repair the damage. Okay, with what? Reparo? Oh, okay. Hello there. How do I do that? A moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Yeah, you do that, Sebastian. Repair her. Did it work? Yay. What? This little kid rebuilt this house. Okay, that's one. And this what else? What's the other one though? I mean, she could have done this herself. <laughs> Ruth Singer, you could have done this yourself. Repair. We need this for the roads. Yeah. Oh, you mean in real life? Yeah, definitely. LA had bad roads. a singer to worry about um okay two more where what else is broken where oh that oh repair oh, This doesn't even do anything. I just like petting them. I wish it did something. I feel like it, when I get the power to transfigure, maybe I can do something with them. I don't know. Maybe not. Um. Okay, speak to the shopkeeper. Where are you? Over here. Hey, what's that? Oh. Revelio. Oh. Is that the last one? The statues of Hufflepuff. Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. That's it, I got them all. You have uncollected rewards available in the challenges menu. Alright, cool. Pet a hundred cats and you can summon them. Really? Wait, where? Is it this one in here? Oh yeah. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Repair. It, oh. <laughs> no, it should have been that though. Yeah, really. <clears throat> Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable yeah, bravery some in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. Mm -hmm. I was happy to help. For a Frankly, <laughs> you deserve an order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. Mm -hmm. I own Gladrags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Nice. Life-saving protections. Okay. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Um... Oh, no, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take yeah, your time. 
<clears throat> Wait, this one's free. Traditional school robe. Wait, how is this different? Oh, it has offense. Okay, I'll take that. So that's what's free, and then the rest I have to pay for. Okay. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen, so zero. Select the cloaks and robes, <clears throat> gear slot, and press X. <clears throat> so the one I'm wearing is zero. This is the new one. Guess I'll wear it now. Um, okay, so he has... Ooh! He has a coat... It's 500. What does it, what does it look like? Interesting. Ding. And it has 14 offense, not defense. Okay. What's this? It's a sweater. Autumn jumper uniform. Can you, like, take the robe off but still wear the outfit? I want to see that. Ruby Chinese Fireball Scarf. I don't want a scarf. This one... Oh, you can take the, the robe off? I'm gonna have to see how to do that. Is this a mask? What? I can just walk around with this scary looking mask? That's kinda cool. Legendary, it says. It's 500. I might have to get that eventually. Looks cool. Worn Quidditch uniform. Yeah, I need something with defense. Ooh, a hat. Yeah, I want to get some stuff with defense. What's this? Ooh, it's interesting. That's different. Offense. Three only 375. <laughs> I might have to get this one. Um Yeah, if I'm gonna wear a robe, I'd wear a different one. What's this suit? Blazer uniform. Only two hundred. Can't see because he's mm. What's this? One quidditch uniform. Another one. How do you... Where? I think... Let's see... I'm gonna get that robe. It's this one, right? I, guess it's, I just like that because it's different. I mean, it kind of looks kind of cheap, but like, <laughs> it looks different. I'm just gonna try it. Um, purchase. Look at that. What's this? Blazer. I mean, it doesn't look that much different than what I have on. Um, maybe I'll just... This has defense. The worn quidditch. This one's 500. What was that other one? 375. Why is this one cheaper? No. What's the difference? Legendary. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, extraordinary. It's not legendary. Well, I can. I'm fine with being extraordinary. You can sell the clothes you don't want. Oh, okay. And then I'll have more money. Let's see. Let's look at this. All right, so I can sell. It's no money. Oh, I can sell. Yeah, I don't want any of the glass. Oh, wait, those are your goggles. Maybe I'll keep those. I don't want these. These spectacles. Sell. 
scarf. I kind of like the Quidditch goggles. These. Wait. I don't like that. Is that it? I want the goggles. Do I want the scarf? I guess I'll have at least one scarf. That's it, I only have 170. Okay, well, I can always get more stuff later. Alright. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. Mm -hmm. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. <laughs> he always sounds like he's... I'll even more he's, um... Rebellious. Inviting me to, like... Welcome to peruse my shop inviting me to my death or something. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Glad Rags, um serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Right? Doesn't he sound like he's inviting me to die? Right this way. Okay, how do I... How do I change clothes again? Uh... Gear. Alright, now let's see. Can I wear that new robe? you oh well then you can't really see what he's wearing underneath but i can still i'll still have offense and defense um outfit let's see where that quidditch so i'll have 14 defense yeah so it's, it's something okay now let, can i take what does it look like if i take off that robe just unequip oh oh Sexy. <laughs> Just walk around wearing your your uniform like a jock. Um, that's kind of cool. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but it's kind of cool. Um, I'm just gonna do this for now. You can do change appearance. those goggles. <laughs> Just walk around with those Quidditch goggles. I mean, that's weird. Like, the, the goggles wouldn't be going through his cornrows like that. But... Like, that's... that's I don't know who designed that, but... Um... This part looks cool. Oh, these do offer defense, though. No, I don't care. I'm not going to wear them right now. Oh. Uh, so you can have the robe on, but make it invisible. What? You can? So I can still have the, the offense, but it'll be invisible? How do you do... Oh, change appearance. Is that what this is? Invisible robes. This clothing are, will appear invisible. Oh. Wait, and let me see. Oh yeah, I still have the offense. That's cool. Thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, MJ. I keep saying that. Maybe I will walk around like this. I just want to see. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, wait, so I can add the scarf and have and benefit from the the what is it? Offense. Oh, and the goggles. That's right. And then I can change the appearance. Wait, can I... Wait, how do I do that again? Change appearance. I mean, the scarf actually looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll keep the scarf. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep keep it as being visible. Um, what was it? Oh, the goggles. You could do this like for hours. Like if I had all the outfits, I would just play around with them all the time. Oh. 
Do I want to keep the No, I'm not going to keep the goggles. I mean, as far as visibility. Wait, what does this say? Regalia spectacles. I thought I got rid of all the spectacles. I don't know, whatever. Uh, change appearance. Alright, so I still have the defense and... Alright, that's awesome. You can spend time picking outfits and adjust your sim, yeah. Um... If you were... If you were them once, even if you sell them, you get to keep the look. What? All I have to do is wear this once and then I can sell it and I keep it? And I get to keep the... The, the traits too? Like the offense and the defense? That's crazy. That doesn't even make sense, but I like it. That, like, shouldn't seem possible. That seems like they're too generous. Oh, just the look. Okay, not not the... Okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm sure I'll collect... Oh, wait, I have other handles. Wait, is that going to change... No, I don't like that. Well, can I change the appearance of this too? Oh wait, it, it doesn't have any um, it doesn't have any like traits or anything. Anyway, it doesn't affect it doesn't affect how it performs. So I'll just leave it the way I want. It. All right, well that's cool. Um, wait, how do I save? different I like that change it up um all right so what are we doing uh he's talked to this guy it says follow Sebastian to the three broomsticks all right all right Sebastian why are we walking so slow assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there we might even meet Serona the owner she's a good one to know Ooh, who's that? Well, that could be anybody. <laughs> you said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. Oh, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Mm-hmm. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All Sexy. you need to know is... That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. The child. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they just saw us. Did they see us? Yes. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The so goblin the from the guy? Daily Prophet. I knew I'd see him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, he said that so loud. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Sir. What? You be well. Her voice was so deep. Okay, yes, can I help you? He's <laughs> just staring at me. <sighs> now, what can I... Oh... There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. I wonder if it's a transaction. to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls you in Hogsmeade. So. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, 
Oh, he found us. Looks like Are we gonna fight? I hope so. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the <laughs> caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Shit. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Yes. So we're not I fighting said, today. My friend is busy. Thank you. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Yeah, go ahead. Can't drink butter beer forever. Thank you, Serona. And everyone. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Why is he bending over like that? Revelio. Bears the page. Oh, there's one flying. Is that outside? Maybe there, but there, I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, I've already been in here, right? Yeah, this is that same place. <laughs> same place. Where's that flying one? Over there. Wait, hold on. Why are you moving so slow? Okay. Oh. Yes. This. 15 more, or 13 more now. Rebellion. Okay, well, we're not going to do that now. <laughs> we'll come back for that. What is it? What I'm like certainly Sebastian? glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Um, you must return to your common room for the night. Okay. Oh, good. We don't have to run all the way back. Select the Hogwarts map button to switch to the Hogwarts map. No. Oh. Fast travel to your common room. Uh, where is my common room? Wait, is it up here and I can't see it? Tower away? This? No, wait. <laughs> Where? <clears throat> Which tower? Hmm. 
Oh my god. The Grand Staircase? Oh wait, you have to click on things. Like... Ravenclaw Common Room. Okay, okay. That was weird. Oh. Well, that was fun. Got to do some fighting. Changed our outfit. The map is confusing. So, like, am I ever going to meet my roommates? I have, like, no roommate. They're never here. <laughs> oh, I have an owl. I didn't even notice that. Hello. That owl is so cute. Oh, you have received an owl post. From who? Oh. From Professor Fig. He's like right here. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Um, okay. I'll do that and then I think I'm gonna move on to the quarry. Getting name it? Am I gonna name the owl? Do I get a chance to name the owl? I didn't see any options. Look at that. We can still give it a name. <laughs> you mean just by saying it? <laughs> um, I guess I could name it. I'm not sure what I would name it. I'll have to think about it. This is a maze. An amazing maze. I would love to live here. I wish this was real so much. Looks really good. Defense against the dark arts. Flames discovered. Blue flames. Rebellion. Oh, so I can fast travel to here now. Um, now that I've gotten that flu. Okay, I see. What's this? Pick up. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, uh, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student <laughs> at Hogwarts, a fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them uh, acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Uh, please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas 
uh, Nigellus Black Headmaster doesn't like me very much. Wait. There he is. Oh, you're sitting on the ground? Talk. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? Hmm. And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Ranrock and Rookwood want the locket. Sir, about the golems. Goblins have been guns. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. Oh, I, I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. Wait, what are those a little bit bubbles? Beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. Oh. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. Oh, but sir, more how spells dangerous can the learn? library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Okay. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, yes. come and see me. Okay, maybe I'll do that first. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I want to learn more spells. Oh wait, can I fast travel there? Let's see. Oh, and there's side quests too. Um, let me learn these spells first. Oh, Incendio, yes! Wait. Okay, but I have to go to. Let me go to the classroom first. Oh, no! Shit! That's not what I wanted to do. No, it is, okay. Hello, uh, is it Hosey? Hosey is oxygen? Alright, let's learn Incendio. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Yes, please. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Mm -hmm. Sounds uh, versatile. Mm -hmm. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You yes, may be surprised yes. by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. <laughs> when you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Okay. What are these tasks? You know where to find me once you've finished. Win two rounds of crossed ones. Oh, so I've already completed one. So I have to do another... Seems crossed duel. ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Right, I thought it was supposed to be a secret uh, club. Dueling club. And then complete a round of spell combination practice with Lucan. Um, okay, so... Shit. Where's... 
where's crossed ones again? Is it far or can I can I fast travel? Oh, that's not that far away. Is it? 142? Oh yeah, that's kinda far, right? Uh let's see. <laughs> That's where I'm going. Let's see. Alright, where... Where's the dueling? Oh, this kid. Glad you're back. Um, he's the training dummy. Hello, is the next round of Cross Ones all set? Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross Ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great <laughs> Why, match yes, lined up. Is. Ready for another round? I think so. Let's I'm ready. It. Let's do it. Brilliant. It's gonna be harder, Are right? Are you dueling with a partner? Uh. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll try Natty this time. Oh, that's that's who's yes, Natty. dueling with me. Then not... let's get to it. Okay. Who am I fighting? Some random people again? Ready to get thrashed? You should play South Park Stick of Truth. What is Apologies that? Apologies in advance. Shit. Uh, breakthrough Violet Shields with Force Spells. Like the summoning charm, Accio. Oh, okay. Uh, target. Okay, you can use R to change targets. Okay, here we go. South Park the show well, made a game. <laughs> I gave it my I've only seen you South Park indeed. a few times. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. But we won, right? The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Okay. You could have gone a bit easier on me. No. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Yes. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. Oh, sorry. <sighs> oh, wait. Uh, and then complete a round of spell combination with Lucan. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. 
Okay. Ready to have a try now? Yeah. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. Oh no. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I don't know what that means. Okay, oh shit, what am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, cast Accio followed by four consecutive basic attacks. Okay. Accio is... Accio! I love dueling. It's so fun. Oh, cast Levioso by four consecutive. Levioso. That is good training. Complete spell combinations without allowing the dummy to hit the ground. Okay. Oh, it's showing me Levioso now? Levioso. Oh, what is that? What's that other one? Attack? Um, oh shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me do it again. Levioso. No. Uh. Wait. Something. Wait. What? What is happening? I already did it. Oh. No. Okay. Okay. Wait. Why can't I do it? Now? Okay. Now. One, two, three, and you. One. Two, three, four. Yes. Nicely done. It's fun. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. The motion capture is really good. If that's what they really look like. Assignments all finished. Uh, okay, return to Professor Hecat, and I can learn Incendio. Let me fast travel there. Where are you? Is it this? Oh, a disillusionment. You must learn the fire-making charm to continue this story. Okay, so I have to do Incendio first. Um, okay, where are you? So that's where, in that's where she is. Closest one is there. Whew. Dueling is fun. I can't wait to do that against like another wizard, like a dark wizard or something. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Uh, yeah. Should be, Professor. What yes. else? Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. <laughs> Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. <laughs> Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate the thing. and keep your wand steady. All right, Incendio. Now I gotta make room for that, right? You have learned enough spells that you need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. I'll swap Lumos, yeah. Wait, where's Incendio? This one? R2. Uh, alrighty. Guess that's it. Uh, its range is short and requires you to be close to the target. The spell deals significant damage and lights certain objects on fire. Enemies hit with fire based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds during which. Time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. All right. To use the spell item, press R2. Hover over Incendio, hold R2, and tap the corresponding face uh, button of where you would like to place it. I already did that, didn't I? Yes. Incendio. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. 
Oh, wait, I already did that. Where is that? Hello? Why is it still telling me? Why is that? Why is that still there? I don't know. Wait, hover over. Wait, to use the spell item, you must first add it to your spell set. I did that. Like, go away, sign. Keep at it, and do try not to incinerate yourself. Let me know. Um, I don't know what I'm missing. Is that a glitch? Can I duel again with that fire? And what's my next objective? I think that's a glitch. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Anyway, um, I think we're done for the day as far as Hogwarts. I'm going to move on to the quarry and play a little bit of that. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, stick around if you would like to see the quarry. Um, if not, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.